Good morning, good afternoon, family. Welcome to this mental house with walls. With me, your host, Khadija. At this point, I think it's pretty safe to say that most sane and rational people know that we have to do something in terms of police reform. We are going to have to do away with this qualified immunity because I know, there's no doubt in my mind, no doubt in my mind that that's going to not be a deterrent. See, again, what's wrong with these individuals as it is is there's no consequences. For the dominant society, there has been no consequences for beating, burning, hanging black people. And so when there's no consequences for your behavior, it tends to get worse. Look at Donald Trump. Look how crazy he got. It's going to be the same with anybody else because basically that is human nature. Okay? When you don't hold people, any, anybody regardless of their colors, if you don't hold them accountable. The problem is in America is the only people you want to hold accountable and then make accountable and then lie on and make the face of crime is black people. See, that's anything non-white is the face of crime. And that's where the problem is because when you look at the data, you see who commit most of the crime. Uh, and who's charged, who's arrested, okay? But when it gets to the convictions, we see what happens. Um, you know, and it's like Dr. Francis said, Francis Cress Wilson, for those of y'all who don't understand, it's in all eight or nine fragments, segments of our society, I, I mean, education, entertainment, the um, economy, uh, labor, law, y'all know y'all see it in law, politics, Religion, sex, and war. Each one of those categories have an explicit amount of racism. It's baked into society. There's nothing we can do about it. It is what you call whiteness. And, and I hate that a lot of my um, Caucasian brothers and sisters don't understand that you know that 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 thought process because they don't they can't unleash themselves from whiteness and they don't understand that that's the problem whiteness is a construct where it's a construct <laughs> and it is but yet it's real because they have they have brainwashed y'all into thinking black, stay back. White is right. And so when you've been conditioned without any consequences for that mind thought, to you now, equality looks like oppression. Even though we've been oppressed by you the whole time. Look at this Governor um, Satan over in Florida. Who in a right mind can look at an America with all these people in it and don't understand that you can't fix what you can't face. I believe the American people are ready for the most part. Oh, you got those bleeding heart liberals who is just as dangerous as the conservatives, in my opinion. You know, people like Bill Maher who talk that shit um, and don't have a clue. He thinks because he got black women and he have sex with black women, and they smoke weed with them, or you know, black dudes smoke weed. That he in the in crowd, that he's um, 
He can speak for black people. He can speak with, uh, I mean, uh, I mean, and I think articulate our situation. And I'm surprised at him because I look at it and I go, wow. I thought he was a comedian. You see, so unless we are willing to deal with these problems here in America, it's going to be a problem. We're going to have to deal with policing in America uh, because it cannot continue to go on the way it has been going. There's nothing good can come out of it. Okay, this is reminiscent of the days when Al Capone and them ran the streets and there was such lawlessness and you had police on the take and, um, and it's the same thing now. It's just escalated. And what would make y'all think that y'all not to face a crime. Okay? You know, this story right here, uh, I don't even, Tyre, uh, Tyree was such a horrible story. And then you come down to other stories where um, there's a black veteran. I mean, and they have a camera, lawyers representing a homeless black veteran are calling for a criminal investigation into the vicious assault on a man by police during a traffic stop because they laughed about it. Body camera footage shows a group of Colorado Spring uh, police officers pounding Dalvin Gavison in his head and his face with their fists and leaving him drenched in blood, swollen and bruised. <laughs> I mean, a ruptured eardrum, multiple injuries, black eyes, Ruptured eardrum. And the beating just exacerbated his post-traumatic stress disorder. He's a veteran. He's a veteran, y'all. <laughs> you might have a cash. I'm sure Jay-Z agree with me on this. You may have the cash, but you can't cash in your face. They showed him when he wanted to buy that building in New York. He had the money. As soon as the owners figure out it was Jay-Z, they closed it up and said, uh-uh. Because they want to cut us out of equality. Because this country was built on our inequality. Think about that. And you already know what happened in South Africa. That's what's going to happen here. We dying anyway. You know, John Lennon said, you, you know, we need a revolution. Because our misery has been backed into the uh, life force of America. And then you got these ignorant people that sit there and say things like, well, what are you upset about? Well, why did he run? Well, look at Chicago. All those buzzwords. That's just um, something nice and modern for saying, you niggers. That's all it is. That's all it is. Because our whole existence over here is being gaslit, <laughs> being projected upon, being lied to, and dealing with the most supremest narcissist society has ever created because they've been allowed to run amok over black and brown bodies, you know. So I don't know unless they are willing. And you've always had white people all through history, individuals that wanted to attack this. How do you, else do you explain a John Brown a Viola Luzo? How do you explain them, people that look at, Injustice or Amy Goodman, and they know that it's a problem. But those voices aren't heard. And what sounds the loudest is the people that want to keep us in bondage. And that's that's really a shame because humanity is is um is really supposed to be a beautiful thing. I believe 
that God made us into tribes and families that we may get to know one another. Just like you got the robins, the blue jays, the uh, sparrows. You got all different species. Okay? And they can get along. But then you have that big predator bird, like the eagle or somebody that comes along. And that's almost like what um, the Caucasian race has, the whiteness has represented. The predator bird. It's interesting. So at some point, unless we're going to get this together and deal with our, our in, in, infallibilities, this country is going to be destroyed from within. <laughs> what did Antoinette say? Let them eat cake? Oh, we ain't even going to be able to eat that because you see what's going on in this country. The New World Order. And when they turned America into a corporation, this is what we have to subject. And now a, a corporation is, is almost is dealt with like a, a, a singular person. We are all under the dominion of corporations. And the people don't have the will to fight back. Because they've they've had the, the the madness has had such a head start, but I do believe that united we stand, divided we should fall, because whenever you unite it, it can strike a mighty blow. Five fingers stand out separately, ball that fists up, it strikes a mighty blow, and I just hope the good. Thinking people of America try to save it before it's too late. Because we can't go on like this. It's just that simple. We ain't going to go on like this. People starting to bust back. Nobody's scared of police like that no more. In fact, you know, you get into situations where police don't want to go into certain neighborhoods. Because they know what will happen. With that certain element in there. Same thing they did with Al Capone. And the same thing. I mean. It's the same script. Just a different day. They'd rather get on the payroll. Than to go and bother some of these gangs. Trust me. I know. Anyway. With that being said. If you like what you hear, subscribe, share the channel, and I'm going to see you in the next video.